Hiya folks, here we are once more. We're gonna be bringing to you another budget meal. What are we doing, baby? Bacon and leek pasta bake. Lovely jubby with a nice cheesy sauce with it. Ooh. Okay, we've been shopping again and we bought some ingredients and uh, let's have a look and run through and just show you what we've bought because we're gonna be creating a cheap meal uh, that costs, how much is it? Three pound what? I've wrote it down and we can't see it that far. Three pound 24. Three pound 24. So let's have a look at all the ingredients involved in this, folks. Here's the ingredients to our budget meal pasta, bacon, leek and cheese bake. 300 grams of rigatoni dried pasta at 57 pence. 250 grams of cooking bacon at 45 pence. One leek at 42 pence. 137 grams of mature cheddar cheese at 1 pound and 35 pence. One pint of milk at 46 pence. One heaped tablespoon of plain flour at around 5 pence. Total cost is £3.24. OK, folks, so this is that cooking bacon which we've done in our last cheap breakfast video. And we had some lovely rashers in that one. But this Ooh. one, as you can see, we didn't get quite as lucky. Again, this cost 90 pence. And as you can see there, there's quite a lot of big chunks in there. Open it up, shall we? See, we, see if we've got any slices in there. Not really, is there? There's mostly big chunks of end cuts or whatever of uh, bacon. So this time we didn't get lucky, but we're not really bothered, Sharon, are we? There's only two packets left. Have you been bought them all? <laughs> what, me or them? Them out there. Yeah, of course they have. So, yeah, as you can see, so you don't always get lucky with bacon slices. These are basically bits of bacon, but that's not a problem. But that's we're, perfect we're, for what we want. Yeah, we're going to be chopping these up, and we're only going to be using half of this 500 mm. grams, hence the uh, cost is going to be, for the bacon, 45 pence. So we're going to cut this in half, we'll dice it all up, and then we'll come back to you after Sharon's washed her hands. Right, Sharon's just cut the leek up, but as you can see, folks, with a leek, yeah. you can see the bits of dirt in there, look. So we'll put that in a colander and rinse that through. You might have the same, so make sure that you do yeah, check your leek. Yeah, always wash a leek. Yeah. So we just throw it in a colander, and uh, just make sure you give it a good rinse out, folks. Agitate it with your hands as well, because um, you do get dirt in between them little bits of uh, greenery at the tip of the leeks nine times out of 10. So uh, just give it a good rinse through, and you'll be fine. Right, so we've got our little induction hob here. We like using this, folks, as you well know. We don't use our gas hob anymore. So we've got our frying pan on. Sharon's just going to um, spray some uh, olive oil in there. And we're going to be putting our bacon in. So in we go. I mean, you could do this in the bottom of your air fryer, Sharon, because we're using the uh, dual yeah. blaze, aren't we? But uh, Not everyone's got the dual blaze. Not everyone's so. got the dual blaze. So, I mean, we can use the um, frying pan here. And this little induction hob is a great little feature and again it saved us money Sharon. We're going to use the induction hob anyway to boil the pasta. Yeah. Which we should get on in a minute. Yeah so we just brown that off and get that water out of it that's in it and uh, cook that off and then we're going to add the leeks to that as well and cook them off then that's ready to go into the main dish isn't it? Yeah. Right that's just been uh, cooking down for a couple of minutes folks so Sharon's just going to add the leeks in now just so that we can bring that all together and soften them leeks up at the same time as well. Right, so we've got 300 grams of that, is it rigatoni? Something like that. Rigatoni it? pasta, the one with the big tubes in. Oh, whatever pasta you like. Yeah, but we've chose that so that the white sauce gets inside it as well. So we've got 300 grams there and we're using this bowl, I think you got it from Poundland or something. Yeah. yeah. It comes with a Poundland or pound stretch or one. It comes with a lid like that. If we can find one on Amazon, folks, we'll leave a link in the description below this video. As with all the stuff we use, you'll find the links below our video in the description. So we've got 300 grams there, and we're just going to tip that. That's a dash of olive oil. Okay. Hopefully that will stop it sticking together. Right, so we're going to put our pasta in there, just to get that pasta cooking away nicely, just before the uh, bacon is actually cooked. So there you go, we'll let that tick over now, and we'll carry on cooking that bacon off and uh, until it gets a little bit of colour on it. And don't forget folks, make sure you put your lids on because uh, that keeps the heat in and they also heat up a lot quicker as well. So Sharon's just going to add a bit of uh, pepper 
to the uh, bacon mix because you don't need salt because this is salty enough, Sharon, isn't it? Yeah. You can add whatever extra ingredients you want. I mean, I'd like to have some chilli peppers. So yeah, dry or we would, we would be not... putting mustard powder in there, yeah. English mustard powder, but we're not doing that because baby Frank's going to be eating this as well and uh, he may yeah. not like the flavour. Right, okay, folks, we've uh, transferred our bacon bits and leek bits to a the actual dish we're going to be serving in. This is virtually on the boil now, so we've just put that up. Uh, just tip that lid on, as you can see there. It's just uh, bubbling away there. And while we're doing that, Sharon's going to make the uh, white cheesy sauce now. Very simple way to do that, folks. Standard milk, you can use full fat if you want. This is uh, semi-skim, Sharon, is it? Yeah. And she's going to put in straight away a flour from cold, a tablespoonful of plain flour. And with this, you've got to keep whisking it all the time, Sharon, haven't you? Yeah. Some people make a roux. Uh, that can be a little bit tricky for some people. So this way always works, but you have to keep it whisking all the time while the heat is on. Okay, folks, after about two or three minutes, as you can see there, it's starting to thicken up now. You have to keep stirring it, folks, as I said to you. So now Sharon's gonna Ooh. be adding. Oh, hello. She's gonna turn that right down. You can see that bubbling up there. Look at that, how thick that is now, folks. That's your white sauce. So we're gonna start adding the cheese. Don't forget, we're not gonna be putting all that in. Some of it's gonna be sprinkled on top uh, the actual dish at the end so that it can crisp up. So most of it will go in because that's what's going to give you your lovely cheesy flavour sauce there, folks. And we are using a mature English cheddar, Sharon. Yeah, I love mature cheese. Yeah. So we'll just watch her as she uh, brings it all together now, and then we'll be just assembling the dish together. There you go, so we've left probably about 50 grams worth of cheese there, folks. That will go on the top of the dish, just sprinkled on the top to give it a crust. And there you have it. One totally smooth, white, cheesy, creamy sauce, Sharon. Can I just say something I've noticed about this induction hole, which what? has just blown my brain? What? The cheese isn't melting. Oh yeah, look, the look old... Look at that. Couple of bits of cheese that's actually dropped on there. Look, it's not melting. Look at that, fantastic, isn't it? A lot of people say, oh, we haven't put the uh, tissues underneath, Shao, to stop it scratching. Yeah, we forget, don't we, Shao? I'm only human. But go and show someone, Shao. Just, just get a bit of tissue, one square. Hang on, I'll just... Just to show her how good it is to cook with these things. Just get one square of that. Look, you just put that literally underneath, folks, on there, and that will still cook that food without actually burning that tissue. Well, it wouldn't melt the cheese, would it? Eh? It didn't melt the cheese. Nah. As you can see, that's still cooking away, folks. Look at that, look. Yeah, uh, one of our viewers told us about that. Uh, that stops you scratching your pans from scratching the induction hobs. That's yeah, why it's there. So. There we go, see it bubbling now, folks, look. So that's it, that can go off now. That's the white sauce done. If you want it thicker, add more flour. Yep. I think that's done. There you go. There's our pasta, folks. Look at See, that. See, it's not stuck together. Perfect, yeah, that's the idea of putting the, um, strain the oil in there, the olive yeah. oil. Right, let's get that strained. Now, yeah, folks, look, I've done all the washing up. Look, I do help out. I do have a go, Shao, don't I? Oh, you have a go, all right. <laughs> there you go. There's the pasta, lovely. It's all swollen up, Shao. Not saying a word. Right, so okay then, we're just gonna put our pasta back in the uh, saucepan just for a second, folks, because we're gonna mix all the ingredients together now. Easier to do it in a saucepan than in the actual serving dish, which is what that one is. And give that a good mix through. And then we're gonna add the white sauce. Thickening up there, and you go, look at that. Oh, lovely. Just bring it together, folks. So if you want it a bit thicker, Put it in the, put a bit more flour in, that's all I'm gonna to say to you. We used a heap teaspoon there, but it will also thicken up when it's cooking as well. So just bring it all together, incorporate it. Stir it all. There we go. 
absolutely lovely. And all we're gonna do now. If you're not gonna cook this right now, do not put this on now because it's gonna melt straight away. But because we're putting it straight in there, it's fine. So Sharon's just gonna sprinkle that on there. There you go, look at that. Now don't forget, basically, everything is now cooked, isn't it, Sharon? Yeah. But we're just bringing it all together in the air fryer just to give it that lovely crisp top. But if you're cooking it from cold or frozen, because you've frozen it, obviously the cooking time will vary because that's technically cooked already, but we're gonna brown the top off in the air fryer for a presentation. Right, so we're using the uh, Kasori Jewel Blaze and this seven inch glass dish fits in there perfectly. The outside diameter of that, by the way, folks, if you do get the same one as this, is eight inches. So it won't go in all air fry. So we're just gonna put that in now. Right, so we're gonna be putting that on the four just on the basic air fry setting, and we're gonna take it up to 200 degrees centigrade, and we're gonna do that for eight minutes. And off she goes. We'll see you in eight minutes time, folks. Yeah. Okay, folks, we've just heard the little ding, and let's have, oh, look at that, Sharon. Wow, look at that, folks. That looks absolutely lovely. Sharon's got her silicone gloves on here, so uh, that's how we're able to take this out in this kasori. Look at that. Let's take a closer look at that, folks, and then let's dish some of it up. Well, that looks absolutely fantastic, Sharon, as you can well see, folks. Now, don't forget, this whole thing here cost £3.24. We reckon there's enough for three people for three generous helpings, don't we? Yeah. And that works out at what? how much each? £1.08. £1.08. Pence. So let's get it served up in a bowl, Sharon. Cut into it, get it in a bowl. Let's have a little look. Look at that, folks. Look. Oh, Sharon, look. Look at that. Ooh. Look at the crust on top of it, Sharon. Dig it all out, go on. Oh God, look at that, look at that. And see how that sauce is actually thickened up, folks, so that works out very well for us there. See that lovely bacon bits in that, look. Yeah, I think you can go a bit more, Shell, can't you? I was gonna start the next plate. Oh, okay, let me move that over there for you. We'll plate this up, folks. Let's get it out and you can see it all on the plate. Absolutely superb, look at that. See, this would be like me and Jimmy just say, and that would be Mike, because he'd like it in the bowl to get off all yeah, the bits around the Yeah, I like all the bits the around the edges there. Yeah. So there's two full meals yeah. there. Now don't forget you can have the side salads with that garlic bread or whatever. Garlic bread would be nice. You know, that's what you can do. But this bit here, that bit there, folks, look at that. All that there has got my name written all over it. Right, okay, folks, that looks absolutely superb. Let's just put that there for a minute, shall we? Right, we're gonna go in, folks. Well, let Sharon go first. One pound eight per meal this comes out at, don't forget. How tasty is it? Get a bit of everything, Sharon. Go full metal jacket, like I normally do. Do you want me to hold you up? No, no. Go in, go on. Oh yeah, go on. I can taste it with you, Sharon. Well? Very, very tasty. It is tasty, is it? Mm. It looks tasty. Now, I know what this bacon's like, and I'm hoping that the leek and cheese- Hi, I'm, I'm only, I'm, I'm hoping Just up. the leek and cheese has brought something to the party, Sharon. And that creamy, cheesy sauce. So I'm going to get a bit of pasta. I'm going for a bit of that burnt stuff on top. It's not burnt really, Sharon, is it? Crispy. It's, it's crispy. I'm going full metal jacket, folks. I'm going in with everything on it. people. Hold me up, Sharon, in case I fall over. <laughs> I can't see that. Oh, Sharon. That is a taste sensation, folks. That top crusty bit where it's just teased, teased the cheese into roughness. That crunchy top bit gives it a lovely, well, what's the word? Intense flavor of cheese and also the bacon as well that's crust, crisps up on top. I can't believe that all that food there Cost one pound eight, eight per serving. See, show. he's got three people and one baby. Yeah, Frank. we've even got little baby Frank involved in it as well, and he's going to absolutely love that. Yeah, he so, loves pasta. Although the main ingredients all together, because we bought a big block of cheese, which was five pounds something. But you're getting more meals out of you that. You get more milks, and one of the other things as well. Sharon just had to go down and buy the pint of milk. 
Yeah, I've got the paper. As if by magic, that's just appeared in my hands, folks. So the four pint of milk coming at one pound eighty-five. She bought a four pinter, or she could have bought a pint of milk in the shop for one pound and five pence. But I originally went to the till of a two pinter, which was one pound. 45 and the girl on the till says why don't you get the four pints for an extra 40p yeah i said you're right i'm gonna go and do that so one pint of milk if you bought just the one pint that would have come in at one pound five points five pence <laughs> by buying the four pinter for one pound 85 that means that each pint only costs 46 pence so if you are a milk drinker or you use milk in cooking you can that, freeze milk that's the way to do it and apparently you can freeze milk yeah. channel, can't you yeah and also the big block of cheese we bought was vintage mature cheddar at five pounds. I wrote it down, shall I? I wrote it all down, baby. Five pounds 40, but we only used 137 grams of that, or 150 grams, one of the two, and that cost us one pound 35. The leek cost 42 pence, as you well know. Uh, the cooking bacon, we only used half of that at 45 pence, and it all works out. Even the flour we put down as five pence. So it all works out at three pounds 24 for the whole dish, Broken down three ways, that works out at one pound and five pence each. Mm. You can't go wrong at that, folks. And as Sharon says, if you cook it, don't put the cheese on top, you can actually freeze that. Yeah, I've often made something like this in the morning then before, like when it's time to cook it, I'll just put the cheese or on then. Make it, get them little containers out, shall yeah? We've got these as well, folks. Rather than freeze that, because we have got some of the big glass dishes frozen, but we need them for cooking. <laughs> Keep your old takeaway containers. If you have takeaway containers, or failing that, you can buy the other ones in oh, there. Oh, they're still... in the other drawer. Oh, are they? They're in the other cupboard. Do you know the foil the ones? The foil ones, which have got the takeaway containers. They're only cheap anyway. And they're, they're throwawayable. Is that a word? Throwawayable. I'll make my own words up, folks. Anyway, hope you've enjoyed that, folks. We'll see you in the next video. But don't forget to have a look at our backlog of videos where we've got a, a, a catalogue of budget meals. We've got air fryer meals. We've got all sorts of different meals in there. School Even vintage old meals. school dinner meals, which we've done a, a little series on as well. Come and join us on the weekends for our vlog. And I'd like to say a quick hello to the couple I met in the village yesterday. Oh, right, yeah, yeah, you were spotted, weren't you? They come yeah. to Woodall Spa, yeah. where we live. Because uh, they'd seen it where we live. And like the village. Yeah. Anyway, thanks very much, folks. We'll see you in the next video. And until then, bye for now. Bye.